We're going to talk about these preachers, these dumb dogs. The Bible tells you. In Isaiah chapter 56. 56 and verse 8. It says, The Lord God which gathered the outcasts of Israel, say, Yet will I gather others to him besides those that are gathered unto him. See, the Lord said, Yet will he gather others besides him, those that are gathered unto him. And who do he's talking about? He's talking about the Gentile. He will gather others. The others he's talking about is the Gentile. You can go to uh, John chapter 10 and verse 16 in Ephesians 1 and 10. This is the others who he is talking about. In Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 14 and 15 and 16. Now St. John chapter 10. The world should tell you who he is talking about when you say you will gather others besides those. Uh, let's see, 10 I think and 16, yeah, 10 and 16. It says, and other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and they shall be one fold and one shepherd. See, this is what he's talking about. He's talking about the Gentile. That's why you have to get an understanding of God's word. Now you can turn to Ephesians. I think it's Ephesians chapter 1. The world tells you too what he's talking to, who he's talking to. But you can't be listening to these false prophets, false teachers. See, they will give you the wrong understanding. You know. All right, Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 10. It said that in the dispensation of the fullness of the time, he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which, and which are on earth, even in him. You see? He will gather all things unto him. That's me, even the Jews, the Gentile, all of them in heaven and on earth. All right, in Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 14 and 15, it says, For he is our peace who had made both one and had broken down the middle wall of perdition, perdition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of uh, commandment contained in audience for to make in himself of twin one new man. So, making peace, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. You see, he's going to make us one unto God, one, one body. See, that's, that's the talking to the, the Gentile. See, he made peace. It's in verse 17. He said, And came and preached peace to you, which were afar off. See, the Gentile were afar off. And, up, and to them that were nigh. And that's the natural branch. They were nigh. 
and far. Through him we uh, through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. You see? That's what he is telling you. So he's talking to the, the Gentile man, both one, and one spirit unto the Lord. See, unto the Father. That's what I was saying. Now we go back to Isaiah. Isaiah, what, 56? Isaiah 56. And verse 9. Isaiah 56 and verse 9. All ye beasts of the field come to devour ye, and all ye beasts in the forest. See. As these, uh, like these preachers, you know, they're going to devour the people, you know, because they are teaching false doctrine. They are all dumb dogs. And verse uh, 10 said, His his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all, I mean, they are all dumb dogs. See? They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. See? They are sleeping. They are lying down and loving to slumber. That's what all the preachers are on now. A lot of these prophets like that too. You know, they don't teach nothing about revelation or nothing. So the preacher, they teach the same thing what they've been teaching 60, 70 years ago. You go to most of these churches, they don't say nothing about the end time, about the mark of the beast is coming out, none of that stuff. And the people don't know. And they teach the same thing about baptism. Same thing what they've been teaching 50, 60 years ago. And then we are at the end time. You can see it right now. You know, I just like about the solar clip and letting you know we are at the end time. The sun will be dark and the moon will not give our light. You know, before the Lord's come, all that could be happening, what Jesus Christ talked about. And that was the sign of the end time. The end is not yet, but it's letting you know the end is getting close. But the preachers and this stuff, they all dumb dog. You know, a lot of people don't even know nothing about the mark of the beast. They don't know nothing about the end time or nothing. They don't explain nothing to the people. They teach the same thing what they've been teaching 40, 50, 60 years ago. They don't even touch revelation or nothing. They don't even know nothing. They don't understand it. They don't even try to learn it and try to understand it. They don't try to teach the people and to warn the people. They don't even try to do that to, for their people. They're all dumb dog, and they're greedy for money. And verse 11 say, and they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. See? And they are shepherd that cannot understand. See, and they can't understand. Even though you tell them and show them that they can't understand, and that's why the people do not understand. Even though you tell them things and show them things by the word of God, they can still believe what that pastor said. You know, and he don't understand. And the people don't understand. See, they may have one in that crowd, maybe might understand. He might try to tell them, and they still won't understand. And they will turn against him. The whole crowd, the whole congregation. That's just how it works now. Because we are living in the last days. Family are divided. You know, sons against father, fathers against son, and mothers against daughter, daughters against mothers. That's just how it works now. We are divided nation. You can see the whole nation is divided. See how they talk all against Trump. Everything he says is wrong. The news media, how they do people. You know, and they're supposed to know better than that. They're not supposed to be speaking against the president of of their nation. See? But they are dumb dogs. See? All those people are dumb dogs. They don't know the Bible and they don't want to know God's Word. 
and God tell them not to do that. Speak against your leader of your nation. But what they do, do they do? We didn't do that a long time ago. See how we all done got dumb dogs? Even the pastor, preacher doing it. See, and he's supposed to know better. He read the Bible, he's supposed to know the word of God. Even the prophet be doing that, you know. And say, so, yeah, they are greedy dogs, which cannot, which uh, can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way. Everyone for his gain from his quarters. See, you look for their gain. We can get money from the people. That's all they look for. That's all they want to teach for. Preach for, you know, preach for nothing else but just about money. That's why they don't know the Bible, they don't know God's word. That's what they're in the church for, just to get people money. And they fool all the women. That's why mostly men don't even go to churches anymore. And they fool all the women for their money. You see, because they are a weaker vessel. And they have these women in, in the church house, some of them preaching and teaching. And God clearly tell you, let the women keep silent in the church. But they disobey God, see? The preachers, the pastors, the shepherd, see? They're all dumb dogs. They look for their own gain. But this is what I wanted to bring to y'all today about these preachers. These, they are dumb dogs, you know? Lying down sleeping like dumb dogs, loving to slumber. See, all for money. That's what they do it all for. And they fool the women. Now, mostly it's just women go to church at the average time now. Men, mostly they know better, they don't even go no more. There's few, few men, but they don't know better, you know. That's why the Bible tells you to come out of her, my people. They have everything in the churches now. Homosexuality, adultery, fornication, all that in the church. They don't left God and the, the women can't see. Even though you tell them, they still can't see. They think they just have to be there. Some of them just be there, go to church just to show off their clothes or looking for men. You know, they're a dumb dog. All those pastors and stuff, most all of them. They don't even teach what's coming, what's going to happen to the people. You know, like in Revelation and all that. So that's what I wanted to bring to you all today. But thank you all. May God give you all wisdom and read God's word and study it. Thank you. God bless you all.